today we're gonna shoot the 10 by 10 workout. And we're gonna take you through all the different muscle groups. The point of this workout and why I really love it is A, it works for any sort of, I'm out of town, what do I do? I, they sent, my work sent me to Singapore for the week and they don't even have weights here. Or, you know what, Kimberly, I'm going to, to, to my mom's for Christmas. What do I do with, uh, with, with, with the gym? What, what workout should I follow? Uh, David, I've got about four sets of dumbbells and a chest press and some basic equipment in my house, in, in my basement, in my garage. What can I do with them? 10 by 10 is specifically set up for these kind of situations and or the gym's wide open and it's just a great equation to follow. Now 10 by 10 is you do a set of 10. Then you rest 20 seconds. For this equation, for the beginner to start, we're gonna give you a 20 second rest to a minute rest. Mr. Michael here, he's advanced course, so we're gonna give him the 20 second rest. That's do 10 reps, rest 20 seconds, do 10 reps immediately again. Now, the idea, and this is, this is kind of where you have to gauge yourself, is you wanna pick a weight that you can do all 100 reps of. 10 sets of 10 actually equals 100 reps by the time you're done with those 20 second rests. So acknowledging that, the first 40 reps are gonna almost seem not easy, but not nearly the resistance that you're used to with following the reader principles we preach here on TimberlyClan.com. Uh, and after that, it really gets tired. It's, it's like the theory of holding a two pound weight of, out, outside of your body, right? The first minute, it's pretty easy, and after that, it's, it feels like a 40 pound dumbbell. And that's, that's what happens as you press the same weight in a high volume, a high amount of reps with less rest. So he's going with 45s. This is a strong dude. He could do way more than 45s, but he knows about rep 60 that these 45s are gonna feel like hundreds, and that's the idea. So, Mr. Michael, go ahead and give us an example of a shoulder press with dumbbells, sets of 10 with resting 20 seconds. This pace is perfect. He could go faster if he wants, he could go slower if he wants. Did he start his heart rate monitor? He did, his heart rate is uh, or I can't read it. <laughs> All right, what's your heart rate? Heart rate is 137. 137, that's great on a set of uh, shoulder press. You guys look at the graph and you're gonna see that 130 is, is, is in the shoulder, uh, shoulder margins in the red for trying. So he's gonna take his 20 seconds and, and, and if you take 30 seconds and you called yourself out of 20 seconds, you're not really following a, a plan. You're just doing what you want. So he has to go start and stop on that 20 seconds. Is this it? Yep. All right. Now you can touch him to the top. You don't have to. What's your accountability? Just be safe, be smooth. I like how far he's coming down. You just want these to come down to about 90 and pop back up. You can come all the way down to your shoulder if you like, but you better have pretty good movement. Now, one suggestion if I was gonna give Mr. Michael one, and he's done these before, is I'd speed up your reps, buddy. You're gonna be here all day. Come on, press those things. All through them. All right. Is that your eight? Uh, you, 10. 10, you better, you got 20 seconds to grab more weight. Run, 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 run. Guys, if this happens to you, and I, I would rather it happen like this. Now, we just talked about pick a weight that you can do 100 reps of. Mr. Michael didn't do that. So what he's got to do now is, is strip set. He's got to go ahead and, and grab some different weights to finish the volume and, and the, uh, the, the workout. <coughs> the same set, come on. So now he's down to 35, you better go. That's your 20 seconds. One, two, come on. Three, four, five, six, come on. Seven, this is painful. Eight, take it, nine. Come on, come on, 10, come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Drop him, you got 20 seconds, grab more weights. Go, 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 go. Now, if, if uh, now that I've seen this, and, and you guys, this is a perfect example. If he was to fulfill this, this, this 100 reps, I probably would have had him grab 25s. Because he would have knocked out his, his first few sets, they would have seemed easy, and he would have finished with those 25s just struggling. Oh, he's going down to 30s. All right, we're gonna see if I was right or not, come on. Come on. Eight. Come on. Come on. Nine. You don't want a heart rate after this. Come on. Up. 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 Here we go. What is it? What is it? What's your heart rate? 150. 150. Now, what were you thinking over there when I said grab 25s and you grab 30s? Oh, uh, there's no 25s over there. <laughs> oh, so go grab 20s. Now, guys, I love this. This is a big, strong dude right here dropping down to 20 pounds. That's volume training. 
Okay, this is this is very very difficult to do if you keep with the rest. Now he'd be able to go with those 45s all day with his two and three minute normal rest. That's not what we're doing right now. Let's go. Rep them out. Take this pain. This is burning pain, excruciating pain. Come on. You're by yourself. You're alone in the basement. This is the perfect setup for training alone in a, in a living room, kicking the kids out of the other room. How do you get a quick workout really fast? This is how you do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ten. Ten. All right. What's that? Fifty. Uh, yeah. So he's done 50 reps. I think we're gonna take him all the way through 100 on this one, and then we'll give you short examples of the other other exercises you can do. But this is a great way to see how, how to do it and how to manipulate what I was saying with, with the weights. Now he probably should have started with these 20s or 25s. Uh, being that he's a big, strong guy, I kinda like that we strip set it the 10 by 10 though. That's another theory and another way to do it. Let's go. Or if he wanted to stick with the super heavy weights as well, he could have just taken up to the 60 second rest, which is what how it's written on the workout. Come on, this per this Michael, does this hurt? Oh yeah. Come on. It's a weird kind of pain, huh? This is just excruciating. Come on. 20 pounds. That's 60 reps, buddy. What's your heart rate? 150. 150. Heart rate 150. 150. Okay, when you are seated, the only real muscle groups working right now are his shoulders. And, 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 and secondary muscle groups, biceps. But half of the uh, the, 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 the legs, half of the body here is not engaged. Okay, his core is engaged to hold himself here. Go. So to have a, a heart rate of 153 with half of your muscle groups not working is pretty incredible. That really shows effort. That's what I love about this technology. Come on. Plus it's got your, uh, every time you look down at your heart rate monitor, it's got your time there too, right? Yep. Michael, you better show these guys. Come on. Good man, good man. Show me what 20 seconds is. Show me what taking pain is. Tell them what the pain cave is. Michael, what's the pain cave? As much pain as you can take and beyond. Say it again. As much pain as you can take and beyond. As much pain as you can take and? Beyond. Right now, buddy. Come on. Come on. Does not matter the weights. Does not matter the weights. I'm not impressed with strength. Uh, well, yeah, I take that back. I'm not impressed with big heavy weights. I'm impressed with pain threshold. That's what I'm impressed with. Go! Beautiful. Oh. How many more do we have left? 56. Is that uh, 70 or 80? That was uh, 70. 70, he's got 30 left. 30 left. Sweating, it's first set of the day. It's a great way to start shoulders, buddy. I'm really proud of you, come on. Show me what pain is. Show me what intentional suffering is. Show me what outside the box uncomfortable means. Show me what the difference between your last shoulder and this one is on camera right now. Show me. How bad do you want it? I want it bad. Come on. You called me up and said, Kimberly, I want big bumps. I don't want to be a fitness model. How bad do you want it? Bad. That's the camera right there. This is what fitness models do. You stand in front of the camera and you inspire and you motivate other people to do what you know how to do. 158. 158. Sometimes you take an image and other people use it to sell a product. Hopefully you're taking that product. You have some ethics. I, uh... You know, wear a toggle shirt. I would never, ever, 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 ever tell you to do something that I don't do. Come on! I think all sponsored athletes should take their products. Some of them don't, it pisses me off. Come on! 87? 88? 89? What, what, what? 90? Up! Perfect weight. He's struggling. You're gonna find yourself in the middle of this, and you're gonna be. 160. Around, around 160. Good job, buddy. Around, uh, around the 70 mark, it's really gonna get hard. So that means it was the perfect weight. Around 50 is gonna burn like heck. Around 40, you're gonna be wondering, oh gosh, what have I done to myself? And around 100, you should struggle. Let's see this. Come on. Really fight for it. Really fight for it. Really fight for it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is it. Come on. Don't you mess up. Right now. Fight. Right now. Come on. Come on. Elbows up. Elbows up. Elbows up. That's you, buddy. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching Yes! Okay. Right now. What does that mean? You get a 90 second rest in between your next set. We just finished shoulder presses. Looks like here we're going to go into lateral raises. Now, guys, like I said, I can't shoot all of this. It'd be really boring. I hope you're watching this on the stepper or, or somewhere in the world. But uh, where you're working out or you got a little time to burn and you want to learn how these things are done. Okay, so once again, this is a good example of the, the strip method of the 10 by 10. Now ideally, uh, for, for a lot of you beginners uh, that, that, that aren't as, as definitely as strong as this guy, 
Um, you're going to want to start with the lesser weight and really try to push to 100. If you make it to 100 too easy, well, you've got enough sets to figure that out uh, uh, on the rest of your shoulders, and you'll be fine. There's enough volume here to really rip them apart. If you did start off a little heavy like he did, just drop your weight, but that doesn't mean you get more than a 20 second rest or the rest that you set up for yourself when you started the equation. If you set 30 seconds, stick with 30 seconds. It's going to hurt like heck no matter if it's a minute or 20 seconds or your 30. Just know that, it, that you're playing the pain game no matter who you are because the longer rest means the more weight you can lift, the heavier the weight. You know what I mean? If you're really, really going for that intense workout, it's going to turn out that way anyway. How much time will we rest between your last set? Probably about a minute, minute and a half. A minute and a half? So yeah. we're going to give you another 20 seconds because I don't think it was that whole minute. And this is uh, dumbbell side lateral raises. Friends, I didn't say whether this is seated or standing. So uh, I'm excited. Seated or standing. So you can go ahead and uh, do these seated or standing. Up to you, bud. You got to go right now. Beautiful. Come on. Hurry, right, 151 before he started his set. Hurry, right, 151 before he started his set. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Come on. Come on. Nine. All right, beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you guys one of the tricks I like to do. I like to pop this thing up about on a 45. Now, go ahead and grab the weights again. Now push up on this thing. I want you to seat it all the way up here. Keep coming up. Now put your leg to the side. There's something about my back being really strong and I can arch it. I just like this position better than the bottom seated position. You tell me what you like, but go ahead and do your set. Come on. Fight for it. He started his set and his heart rate was 160. Not all of you are gonna have that high a heart rate, but if you're doing some training like this, most likely you are because you didn't have enough rest to drop your heart rate. That's the accountability. If it stays high, then you know you're following the exercise because this is a calorie burning workout. This is meant for calories out the door, volume training, that's what that does. 68. <laughs> 168, how old are you, Michael? 23. Michael's 23, so uh, he'd be dead around 197. Not, not really dead, but follow the graph, that kind of says the ultimate effort, you, that's as hard as you can go. I've 173. Seen 173. <laughs> Averaging kick, give me one last set, we're gonna move into the other exercises. Yep. Finish the last five standing. Show last up. Come on. Don't let the dumbbells go above your elbows. Don't let the dumbbells go above your elbows. There you go. Yeah. Love it. Cool. All right, heart rate. 150. 162. Heart rate is 162. <laughs> Anytime you train shoulders, if your heart rate says 162. Now, notice I'm not complimenting on his sweat. I care about sweat, I do. That's a sense of accountability, I really do. That means he's badass. But it could also mean that we're in California and it's 85 degrees today. Maybe he's not so badass. Maybe he's just hanging out outside hot. How many, how many heavy guys sweat through their shirt? It's not necessarily the best sense of accountability for effort. That heart rate, well that takes my opinion out of it. That takes the weather out of it, that takes everything out of it. That's technology. That, that, that watch right there is reading the resistance his heart is feeling. When his body receives resistance, his heart rate goes up. Once it reaches that heart rate, it tells him how much resistance essentially he's given his body. You want accountability? David, how, how much should I shoulder press? I don't care. What is your heart rate while you're shoulder pressing? You're asking me the wrong question. Because if you tell me your heart rate was this while you were doing this, I'll tell you if that was the right resistance. Or I'll say, go to the gym, curl 10 pound, curl, curl a, a dumbbell 10 times, 12 times, and if your heart rate isn't this, well then you need to squeeze more, you need to go slower, you need to really think about the bicep doing the work, or you need to raise the weight, or you need to do them faster and more reps. Either way around, that's not the way for you, obviously. So it's a difficult question when somebody's, how, how much, how much, how much, how much, how much weight do I do? Let's simplify it, guys. What is the resistance to the weight that you are, are, are using? That's the question. That's the right answer. And I have graphs and everything on the Kimberly plan to show you that. You guys just go over to the, to the, to the heart rate charts and you'll see that. Okay, so um, now we get into uh, dumbbell rear bent over flies. Yeah, we're gonna do these seated and standing. He's out of your way. 
So we've had our 90 second rest. He's gonna hop right into these. Okay. Come on. So we're gonna get a little bit picking him. 20 pounds is heavy, ow, heavy as heck to do for 10 sets of 10. So I'm gonna have him run over there and grab 10 pounds as soon as he can. We got 20 seconds, let's do it. Now the reason why is A, your form goes to crap. What happens is a lot of guys, they're flying, and watch what happens to my elbow. It ends up back here. Watch yourself do it, guys. See, you see me do a couple reps like this. I want you to do reps like this. See the difference? Now, when you're watching me like this, you can't really see how far back my elbows are. But I promise you, every one of you, including myself, a lot of the reps are gonna be done like this. I want you to think about your legs on a pimple. Sometimes I'll put them right here. And pop. I'm kicking my elbows forward. And I'm popping out. Popping out. Popping out. To prevent doing that. I gave him a little bit longer rest, but I wanted to show you that. Let's go. Yep. Think about your arms on a pendulum. It's up and back, up and back. The further you get the weights out from you, the better too. See this elbow? I want you to put the elbow forward, turn your wrist. See how your elbow turned with your wrist? I don't want it to turn with your wrist. Leave it there, now turn your wrist. Yeah, now take that elbow up. Trying to point this elbow at the ceiling the best you can to work this muscle group. Come on, buddy, you're killing it. You're killing it. Show them how. Hurry. 146. Still 140. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I get to coach quite a bit, and I'll tell my my clients and our friends, it's very hard to get your heart rate up on a rear delt. This is very impressive. Okay. He's 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 following his heart rate through from the from the shoulder presses into this. Go ahead and take your. Go ahead and go. So he's able to ride that wave of the heavier weights. Okay, see what's happening to your elbows again? I want you to really think about that elbow pointed at the ceiling. Now, one of the ways I'll manipulate that, I'll put my phone on his back here. Point your elbows right here, just like this. Now, keep this elbow going that way. Yep, we've all done that on the machine, right? Your, your arm is, is like this, and you're going back. You can do the same thing here. And then, good job, good job, good job, good job. I like to pop my legs, pop your legs out in front of you a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. Okay, last set, we're gonna have him do standing just so you get to see what that looks like. Each 20 seconds. <laughs> Heart rate is? 153. All right, so bend over in the standing position. All right. Now he's doing legs together, I don't really care. Okay, now from this position, see these weights? I want you to touch my hand right here. I'm not moving my hand. Notice how they're wanting to fly back that way? Yep. Because that's where you're strong, that's your back. This is beautiful, Michael, come on. Young guys, if you want to be another level with your physique, this is a great example. This is a great example. What's your heart rate? 152, 152 153. He's been averaging that through, through this entire exercise. Now, there's a thousand guys I could shoot with on videos. There's a thousand guys I could put in my videos. They're all standing in line. Bunch of good men. This is one I picked him out, and uh, we've been working together for a minute. And he, he just, he, he loves this stuff. And I said, all right, how, how much do you really love it? Let's, let's get you on camera and see. And there, t tell me if there's another level. And, and this is what kind of fitness models try to describe to, to people wondering, oh, that's such an easy job. Oh, you know, you're gonna get your your fingers wet, <coughs> your your fingers dirty. Uh, is this harder when the camera's on you? Oh yeah. Is there a certain yeah, amount of effort that you people. give? Yeah, you have to inspire people. If you don't go hard, then that means they're not going to go hard. Well, and, and how much guilt would you have if, if you are trying to inspire, motivate, and or educate somebody and you didn't give it what you have? And or I look at you and say, not good enough, do it again. You know? Yeah. You could have to repeat this. If this sucked, if he sucked on any set, you have to do it again. So uh, uh, how, much, how much harder is it when you're taking a picture and you got your arm all flexed or something? How much harder do you try when, you, when you're modeling? Way, way harder. Because you, you gotta inspire people. If you can't inspire people, then, then I don't even really know. <laughs> true, true that, true that, all right. 
Okay, we just finished the, the rear flies. He gets 90 seconds. And, and you'll notice that in here. In between the exercises, you get 90 seconds. In between the sets, you get your, uh, your, your 20 seconds to a minute, depending on what you chose. So now we're gonna switch uh, muscle groups, and we're gonna go into the biceps. Now, the fun thing about this is, uh, uh, biceps is a secondary muscle group to shoulders. And what does that mean? That means that um, in the middle of kicking the crap out of his, his shoulders, he's pre-exhausted, he's worn out, he's, he's beat up his biceps a little bit. So what, what, what the theory would be is if, if you pre-exhausted your biceps, then it doesn't take as much to work them out. So when we're working on a speedy volume training like this, and we're going, how do I kick the crap out of my body in the less amount of time that I have, you, you want to uh, do a, a, a large muscle group. Okay, shoulders aren't that large, but for the, in this case, and then you want to uh, try to exhaust the secondary muscle group to that large muscle group because that saves time. The end game, guys, is to literally annihilate the muscle so it scars over and gets bigger. Well, he doesn't have the time to annihilate his bicep uh, if, if, uh, if he was training it cold, if he was training it on his own. Now, there's a, a theory to do that, but that's not what we're doing today. Today is trying to get the best workout I can in the least amount of time, and that's what the 10 by, by 10 is. Or I'm trying to get the best workout I can with with the least amount of space that I have. And notice we've done all this standing right here. So we're gonna uh, move from right here, right over here, that was your 90 seconds. We're gonna get into, uh... oh wait, I lied, come on back. <laughs> we're gonna get to uh, standing bicep curl. Now, we've learned a little bit in the beginning of this, right? Yeah. So you picked a weight that was really heavy. Now, if I told you, you had to curl one of these weights a hundred times and you get 10 reps and then you've got to rest 20 seconds and then do it again, what weight would you pick that you would push yourself, but also be able to fulfill, to, to, to fulfill the obligation of the 100 reps with that same weight? Probably about 40 pounds. 40 pounds? Yeah. I would pick 20s. 20s? I'll do 20s. No, I want, I want to pick what you okay. pick. 30s. 30s. All right, he's going to go with 30s. Now he's going to stand here and curl these things 100 times. So, man up. And he's got his first grips helping him too. Keep his hands pretty. That's nice. What's your heart right now? He's starting at 130. 90 second rest from the shoulders. Let's go. Oh, he's been watching the videos. His elbows aren't moving. The weights are coming up and down. The rest of his body's not moving. He's not all over the place. Beautiful. Just stand there and suffer. Stand there and suffer. Make him grow. Come on. Who are you? Why are you here? Think about it. When you look in the mirror, it's not pompous. You look in the mirror to make sure you're not moving. And when you look in the mirror, don't look at anybody else. Who cares? Now, you've done one set, you get 20 seconds. Did you pick the right weight? I think I can go heavy. You think you can go heavy? Yeah. For 100 reps, you're the man. All right. Oh, one, two, three, straighten those arms. Four, come on. Five. I don't think you can go in for 100 reps. Six, all right, drop it. At this point, you're seeing him start to move a little bit. He did perfect. He helped himself a little bit by moving, but uh, I really want him to drop his weight to keep that perfect form. Biceps are a small muscle group. A lot of guys don't end up with biceps because they do them wrong. Come on. There you go, now we're suffering. Now we're suffering. Come on. Now. I like his fight. I like his fight. But if I were to give him $10,000 for the right or wrong answer, right or wrong answer, he just lost $10,000. Now, how, many, how, much, how many have we done? We've done three sets? Yeah. Two. two. That's two sets. <clears throat> what weight are we gonna do next? 20s. We're going to 20s. So he started with this heavier weight. Now, acknowledging the workout is written to start with what I'm assuming will be 20s and do 100 with him. I like that he kicked the crap out of himself with that heavier resistance. Oh. Straighten those arms. Straighten those arms. Show me you're straight. There it is. And you know, I don't care if you come all the way up either. Down. Oh, we're burning out now. Come on, buddy. I don't care if you finish with five pounds. I, guys, I've finished with the weight of my palm before. I have. I sat there and went, <laughs> wanting to cry because I couldn't even hold a two pound dumbbell. Come on. Where are we at? 165. 165 standing bicep curls. So, uh, if we learn anything today, if you're gonna strip set, keep on stripping, <clears throat> you just have to keep your rest and you have to uh, 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 make sure the weights are close to you <coughs> so that you can drop in weight. 
And number two, never shop hungry. Why don't we do that? Because we buy a little more than we can eat sometimes, right? And I think that today this man's in here, he's, he's, he's shopping for muscles and he's hungry, he wants them. He picked a little bit heavier weight than he could do. Now, if you're gonna follow the protocol, you wanna try to, 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 to watch and listen and learn. That's why we make these videos and use great examples of big tough son bitches like this to, to show you that his weight was not 35 pounds. His weight was most likely these 20s. Now, I don't know if he's gonna finish his 100 reps with these 20s because he started off with the 40s. So he kinda he punched out in the first round, we'd like to call it, right? You can't necessarily do that in, in this 10 by 10 because you will punch out and you will not have much left for the rest. So either way around, volume training says kick the crap out of yourself, but following a program means try to follow the program. Try to pick a weight that is what it is. This isn't a strip setting 10 by 10. It can be done that way, but this is mostly volume training with that lesser weight. And one, one of the other reasons why I like to do it uh, with the lesser weight is I find that when you go too heavy, you lose that ridiculous pump that you can get. I'm sure you're pumped right now. Oh yeah, I'm really Just pumped. like stupid pumped. But uh, with the heavier weight, sometimes you can lose that pump uh, through, through the, almost annihilation of the nerves. I, I don't know why I lose my pump when I don't when I go as heavy for volume. So I like to go lighter weight for the volume the whole time through. Do one more set of these 20s. Show them how hard it is. What's our number right now? 150. 150, how many reps have we done? I think about 40. 50. 40, okay, let's go. Come on, come on. forward because that changes the pitch. It goes from here to there. It, it's, it's just harder when their elbows are a little bit in front. You're done. It kind of follows it there. I like to train the bottom of the bicep and the top of the bicep separately. <clears throat> Unless you can uh, smoothly transition between the angles while you're training biceps. I like to train them separately. Alright, biceps. Uh, what are we getting into now? Hammer curl! I'm gonna show you a few examples of hammer curl. Almost done with this shoulder and bicep exercise. Come on, buddy. Now we're gonna pretend he had 90 second rest. He comes up over here. We've had our 90 second rest. Now we're gonna get into uh, hammer curl with the cable. If all you have is dumbbells at home, use dumbbells. You're gonna see a, a C, a, a DB, uh, uh, that, that means dumbbell. Um, uh, barbell would be BB, C is cable, uh, B is body weight. So you're gonna see these uh, initials uh, kind of describing how you can do the weight. And that's just because in a busy gym, if I said you had to use a barbell and I see you waiting for five minutes to get that barbell and you just missed the whole idea of what I preach here and that's the intensity and tracking with Harvey monitor. So you have options. Like I said, today he has a cable, so we're gonna use that as a different form of resistance. I kind of like it. Um, versus the dumbbells we've already do, done two sets of. So go ahead, bud. Now, one thing I am gonna say, I would rather him grab lower on the, on, the, on the rope because that ensures his grip is also tight. One of the tricks to getting great biceps and or any muscle group ever is gripping whatever it is, whether it be a pull down, a chin up, a, a bicep curl, anything, you grip that thing as hard as you can. And sometimes when your hand is rested right here, you're, you're not gripping, you're just kind of resting. And I want him gripped, I want him super engaged. Oh, let's go. One. Six, seven, straight those arms. Eight, nine, ten, rest of it. Hold my foot. Okay, the next ones I'd like you to do like this. If you were a little more to the side, almost like a drag curl, I want you to pop your lats forward. Now, my, I've created my own uh, arm blaster with my lats. My elbow can't move because it's running into my lat. From here, up. That way I can straighten my arm too. Right? When they're back here, it's hard to straighten my arms because I run into my leg. So if I'm gripped right here, my arms are out front. You can even flex your triceps to make sure your arms are straight if you want. Get your rest. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Come on, fight. Fight. 
Nope. Okay. Yes. Now lean back. Lean back. This has to go in front of this. Bring your arms forward. Right there. Now curl it. Yep. Straighten your arms up. Yeah! Come on. He's on uh, 40 pounds. A little out of resistance. Come on, jerk. Jerk. Come on, fight. Fight. Come on. This is perfectly normal. If your grip gives out on your way up, <laughs> that's fine. I don't care if you end up at the top. I just don't want you to start there. 155. Dude, that's so impressive. 155 is the heart rate. Standing bicep. Cable curl. That's pretty incredible. He gets 20 more seconds. We're going to go again. These are some of the tricks that you can learn on this. Did you notice the difference between how many? Oh, yeah, what was the difference? Lots of more on my bicep. <laughs> Good answer. We didn't preach that. Uh, why? Why do you think? Um, just the angle. Okay. Uh, we've been talking a lot about the angle. You know, I, I, sometimes you guys will understand this. Hopefully, you're watching the videos that you really, really get it. But the angle of the, your arm really makes a difference on the resistance. In cable, not as much because you're going to get a resistance anyway, but really uh, with the dumbbell. The other thing that I really like about the way this is doing this, and he, he hit on it, was it's, it's working the bicep more because the bicep isn't able to move in that cheat spot. The cheat spot is usually your weakest link where you're not strong. So most people are not strong from here to here. Okay, we do a lot of swinging in here. We do a lot of reps in here. But notice I didn't straighten my arm once. That's straight. And in and, and this position, it doesn't allow your, you know, most guys will curl and, and that will happen. When you're right here, it's not going back. It's staying right there. And that way the pressure stays on the bicep. Let's go, last set. We'll act like that was in 20 seconds. Come on, show me what it's like, show me what it's like. Three, four. Lean back a tiny bit. Six. You'll know also that he's doing it right. Any sort of curl, any sort of press down, any sort of anything. If this cable is going straight up and down by the time the rep is finished, that's perfect. Step back for me. Big step. Now do it again. See it? All the movement in his elbow? I didn't like that as much because he was on an angle. If this was going straight up and down, he wouldn't have that movement in his elbow because you just saw nine reps and he's not moving his elbow. And, and on that one, his elbow did move, proving that it, it is uh, uh, better for the muscle group if using it means anything to you to, to have this cable be going up and down, whether it be abs or triceps or biceps in this case. Sweet. Yep. Heart rate? 149. 149. 10 by 10. 10 by 10 work? Oh, yeah. We've got something similar, like the 8 by 8. We'll be shooting videos for that, but it's, it's very, very similar. You just do 8. Um, okay, now we're going to get into calf raises. Now, friends, this is this. I love this because it sticks with the theme of where we are. We're in an apartment complex gym. Where's the calf raise machine? Kimberly, you better get pretty creative right now. Where's the cab raise machine? Cab raise machine. What would you, okay, Michael, let's leave it up to you. What would you choose for calves right now? You have about 60 more seconds in your sled. rest. You choose a sled, okay? You have to choose um, two things. things. Two things, you got the sled and? Are the dumbbells? Sled and dumbbells, all right, let's take him into eight by eight. If you're on your own, notice, uh, uh, this says cab raise machine. If you don't have a cab raise machine, pick another exercise. Pick something that is is, uh, is 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 straight up and down. Okay, you really want that's anything that works those muscles down there heavier than when you get off of the pot or you you're carrying a purse that, that that has extra whatever in it. We want heavy. If you don't really annihilate your calves, they've seen it. They've run. They've done everything. That impact, any of this stuff, is, is a large amount of resistance for your calves. They've been beat. If you don't annihilate them, they will not stimulate and grow. You really got to get after them. So, show us how to do it here, buddy. Now, come on around. I want you guys to see the foot placement here. Looks like he's got almost the entire stack. So you're gonna do this for your 10 sets of 10. Now, the only thing I would say is, is you can definitely change the uh, position of the toes when you want. 
go for that super long extension. If you're gonna bend your legs, bend your legs. But don't be bending them and straightening them while you're going through the reps. Oh. Correct, good job. Now that's gonna be a little bit heavy for you for the whole hundred, right? Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about, guys, on, on the whole calf thing. Now notice my calf, my, my legs are bent, okay? I'll put my hand in the middle or something so I know they won't move inside or out, and I'll keep this position and go up and down, up and down. By not try, trying not to change the angle of my legs here. Up and down, up and down. Now if I do straighten my legs, fine. They gotta stay straight though. Whoop. Up. 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 As soon as you get right here in this, this funky knee thing, that starts happening, you gotta watch that. It's not this. Look, see a lot of guys and a lot of cab machines doing that. No, no. Same thing as the, uh, the bicep and the elbow moving. It just, it robs you of the sticking point and the muscle intended doing the work. Let's go, bud. I am a firm believer in heavy weight for calves. I really think that that's uh, important for growth. Yeah. Now point your toes out this time. Yep. So he's basically created a V. Come on over here, Stephen. This is your shot. <coughs> Job, buddy. We're at uh, 300 pounds right now. Come on, take this pain, take this pain. Is it burning? Yes. Legs are perfect. Now you're a tall dude. It takes you longer to build calves, but when you do, it's impressive. Most guys don't have calves, tall guys especially. So don't be disheartened when they don't grow huge, especially if you're over six foot the first year. It took me two years to add a couple inches to mine. That was annihilating them with the sole mental purpose of having calves the same size as my neck. Then I realized I wanted calves the size of my arms because I felt that was cool too. So I had to get a little bit bigger than my neck. If your calves are bigger than your neck, you're doing okay. That's, 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 that's desirable. Okay, now show me uh, inverted. Inverted, there we go. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Be safe. Beautiful. Come on. Be safe on the machine, guys. Never, ever, 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 anytime you're ever on a machine like this, put your hands over your head. Your butt can slide up and out of position. You can hurt yourself, and it's, it's dangerous. So leave your arms big, strong in position. Great job, but what's your heart rate? 136. 136. You notice uh, on, the, on the calves graph, it's definitely 136 shows effort. So that's awesome. Uh, now. We're gonna go ahead and move on to here. Once again, we can't show you uh, an example of everything that we do. So uh, this was a good example of, of one of the exercises you can do that is not written on here. It says do, uh, do cab raises. We don't have a cab raise machine. So this is what we picked. Now Michael gets to choose another one. I'm using his, him and his example. I know what I would do, but this is a live example. He has no idea. So I'm gonna ask him to pick another cap exercise. Of all the ones you've ever seen or done or whatever, what's a good example of what you can do right now? Knowing that your 90 seconds is coming up and you have to go again for another set of 100. Dumbbells. Dumbbells, all right. This is a, this is a great example of why I like Bursa Grips, guys. I know this isn't like a sales pitch, but I don't want him worried about calves. I don't want him worried about his fingers. So he's about to attach a bunch of weight right here and then do these. But if he's worried about his hands, how really worried is he going to be about here? And most likely, a lot. in fact, I'm willing to bet my everything I make on this. I'll bet you your calves are stronger than your hands. And if that's the case, you'll never, ever, ever train your calves because you're going to wear out your fingers first and you'll never even have made it to that, to that uh, pain threshold where your calves are actually getting ripped apart. Show me. I'm gonna make him slow down a lot. Okay, hold that. In the side position, your, your cap raises are gonna be like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, okay? 
So on this one, we're really gonna slow down the rep to make sure he's not firing through and, and kind of missing the calves doing the work. Uh, the weights aren't gonna be heavy enough to really, 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 really kill it. I'd rather see him holding 400 pounds, but this is 90 pounds that's available at the gym. So how do you make 90 pounds feel like 400? Slow it down. Slow it down. One, two, three, come up, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. 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 Come on. See how you're throwing it up that last one? Yeah. Throw them up, but try to get there smooth. Okay. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. That's perfect. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. Where even, even that last little bit, you're throwing past that pain. That's it. All right, heart rate. 135. 135. All right, guys, that's a wrap of how to do shoulders and biceps on the 10 by 10. Now, we showed you a lot of different stuff here. That's what I like about these videos. My opinion isn't gold, I'm coaching. If you like what I do and you want to incorporate it, do it. If you, um, if you want to, 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 to change it up a little bit, like, like you watched him do, we picked a heavier weight than we could finish all the way through and it turned into strip set method 10 by 10 and that's fine too. The only precaution I'll give you is, if you don't follow a plan, you don't know what works. And if you're paying a guy like me to follow a, a structured plan with heart rate monitor accountability and, and, and all that kind of fun stuff, then try to follow the plan. Don't make your own until you look really good and then you've kind of figured things out and you can um, share with other people. In the end though, in the end though, it's all about intensity.